Hey guys, um, here I am working on a scene, a game scene, and I wanted to show you a cool uh, little Maya trick. Um, so I have this uh, alien uh, symbol, which is meaningless, but it looks cool uh, right here on the ground that I just made. And what I would like to do is take this symbol and I would like to put it on this side of this gate here, right? So. I could, of course, manually uh, grab it and drag it and rotate it and um, try to find, you know, a right angle to, to make sure that it's flushed uh, along the surface. But there isn't uh, a really cool uh, tool that Maya will do it for you automatically. And I wanted to kind of show you how that works. So for example, um, let me put this symbol right, right here. Uh, on the side of this gate. So let's do that really quick. All I'm going to do is go to modify and click on this right here called snap together. And if you go to the options, you will see that my move and rotate objects is uh, checked, right? So all I'm going to do is just simply click on the top of the surface of the uh, alien language here. And then I'm just going to simply click on where I want it to go just like that. And Maya is going to draw a line showing me that um, that's where it's headed. And now if I just simply press enter, you will see that the sign magically just kind of f was uh, transported over to my wall. And so at this point, I can of course, grab it. And I can switch it to um, object mode. And I can rotate it so it stays flushed against the surface and I can scale it down to the size I need and put it in place uh, very quickly. And if I, if you press F, you can take a closer look and see how uh, nice that was and very much uh, automated. So it did the best it could to just kind of flush it against the wall. And this could be great for uh, any number of decorations that you're doing maybe with characters or buildings or spaceships or anything like that. So I want to show you this really cool trick. Uh, I hope it will help you in your uh, future modeling. All right. Thanks for watching.